thought I'd make a video today about the proper installation of an HEI distributor. I watch uh, YouTube videos quite often of other people that are putting cars together and uh, some of them are very nice cars and very nice engines but a lot of times I see the HEI distributor and the spark plug wires are a disaster and I'm going to show you the proper position for an HEI distributor once installed. Okay, I'm going to show you this on my uh, 78 Corvette. I have a MSD high performance HEI distributor and has a performance spark curve and vacuum advance. Now you notice when the HEI is properly installed that the wiring for the power and the tachometer are here on the driver's side. The vacuum advance is on the opposite side. It comes out at about a 45 degree angle pointing, pointing towards the valve covers. Now on an HEI distributor, although it really doesn't matter what position it is in the engine as long as the spark timing is proper, it will run. V8 engines fire cylinders 90 degrees apart so that distributor position could be anywhere as long as the timing is correct. But really the number one plug wire, the number one post on a HEI distributor is right here. It's the second one clockwise from the power input and tachometer connections. You'll notice that on my plug wires um, I got to deal with these plug wires that came with the labels to identify what cylinder they go to and you'll see I put those on there. They're just nice to have if you ever pull your distributor out and you need to do something to your distributor cap you can easily figure out where the wires go back in. Now on Chevrolet V8's the number one cylinder is at the front of the engine on the driver's side. It's the foremost cylinder and you'll see a stagger in the valve covers there. So the number one cylinder is all the way to the front of the engine on the driver's side. This is the number one cylinder where you see the exhaust tube come out and that's the number one plug wire. The number two cylinder is on the opposite side of the engine and it's the very first cylinder up front on the passenger side. The firing order on a Chevy V8 and a lot of other domestic V8s is 1843 So once you establish what the number one post is on the distributor, it's just a matter of going around the engine and wiring up the spark plug wires to the proper plug. And as I mentioned before, what I've been seeing on YouTube is these distributors are turned around backwards. Sometimes this power connection is on the opposite side and in some cases the vacuum advance will be pointing straight out behind the carburetor. I've even seen them over pointing in this direction towards the driver's side tire. Well, that'll work fine and it makes no difference but it makes an otherwise great looking engine look kind of goofy with all the wiring mixed up and the distributor not positioned properly. So it's a matter of bringing the number one piston top dead center on the power stroke when you're putting your engine together and dropping in the distributor so that the rotor is pointing in this general direction here. And once you do that, your wiring will look so much better and your distributor will be in the proper position just like the factory did it from the beginning. A lot of times too I see people get a little mixed up with their wiring and usually you should only have two wires that cross over to the opposite side of the engine and that's these two here. That's the number three and the number two. Because your number two post is here and of course your number two cylinder is on the opposite side of the engine. So you bring this wire from this position around over to the other side. And number three is similar the number three post is here. You bring that around the front of the distributor over to the number three cylinder, which is over here, the second one back from the front on the driver's side. 
As you can see, I'm using some Moroso wire separators. I like these. Although Chevrolets can be wired from underneath the headers or above, I prefer above the headers. And you can see how it neatly separates the wires. It keeps them in twos until it gets back to the last two cylinders and then it has, it's kind of difficult to see, but it has a separator that carries four wires. And then my kit also came with some other wire separators that don't actually attach to the engine, they just hold the wires together. And that keeps all your wires separated and away from the heat. And it keeps them from cross-firing or arcing over in some cases to water hoses and other sharp metal objects, engine blocks, etc. Now these two wires that cross over, I always like to bring mine around the front, but they can easily be brought around the back. And in some cases you can even buy HEI distributor caps that are internally wired that brings all the wires to the driver's side on this side of the distributor and on the passenger side brings all the wiring to this side so you don't have these wires crossing over. I don't really care for those distributors much. I've seen them short out internally and cause misfires so I, I don't use them. I just use the standard HEI distributor cap. HEI distributor is really an awesome ignition. They came out in 1975 to fire the lean mixtures on the new engines that were emission legal. And uh, they came with both vacuum and mechanical advance. The vacuum advance, uh, or the, excuse me, the mechanical advance on those was an emission curve, which uh, is a slow ramping curve. And uh, in some cases you had vacuum advance at idle, and in some cases you didn't. It depended on some valving that they used, the temperature valving, sometimes what gear the transmission was in, etc. But uh, a distributor like this from MSD is going to be nothing but performance and has nothing to do with emissions. It puts out a nice hot spark. And uh, the other thing I like about it is totally self-contained. You only need two wires to get the thing running. One is the battery wire, which you can see the connection here, and the tack wire. And everything else is built inside the coil, the trigger, mech uh, the trigger um, device, and the... Um, actually ignition module that controls the current to the coil. So this is a little video about the proper way to install an HEI distributor although like I said these can be in any position to run because 90 degrees apart on every cylinder firing on V8s that can literally be put in any any direction as long as the ignition timing is correct. But a nicer looking engine is when you have these things installed correctly with the power wires coming in on the driver's side and then of course on the passenger side you have the vacuum advance coming out which neatly routes over to your carburetor on your time port or your manifold vacuum whichever one you're using. Well thanks for watching. I hope this helps get some wiring and distributor installations straightened out.